I'm Dr. Rosalind George from Wilmington Dermatology Center and I'd like to give you some tips on how to identify psoriasis. Psoriasis is a common skin condition and it's a very serious medical condition. What we're finding now with new research is that people that are affected with psoriasis because it's a systemic inflammatory disease are actually at an increased risk of getting cardiovascular complications as well. So it really is a serious medical condition that needs to be treated. Uh, it most com commonly appears as red patches of skin with this white silvery scale and it frequently comes up on elbows, knees, scalp, um, but you can see it in other places on the body. Um, and it, it also is very distressing. About 50% of people with psoriasis have depression, so it's important to treat it very aggressively. Um, there are multiple good treatment options for it. Uh, the first is topical corticosteroid creams, um, which help decrease the inflammation. And in addition to that, there are also topical vitamin D creams that can be successful more in the maintenance of it, not so much in clearing the condition. As it gets more progressive, if you have large body surface areas that are covered, there are other oral medicines and also injectable medicines that you can use that will decrease the inflammatory response and help clear up the psoriasis. So dermatologists do not like sun and do not usually recommend people get into the sun. But with psoriasis, sun is actually very useful. And what people will say is that sun, um, whether through tanning beds, and actually dermatologists have a um, phototherapy unit that has a specific wavelength of light that will be used to clear um, psoriasis. They also have specialized lasers that they can use that also emit that same wavelength of light to, trail up isol to treat isolated plaques of psoriasis. So sunlight is one of those things that, um, while it's kind of shunned by the dermatologist, we do usually recommend that kind of treatment for patients with psoriasis. That's some basic information, but before you start any skincare regimen or have any procedures, make sure to consult with your skincare specialist or dermatologist.